Hi, we are Dementia Talk, and my name is Inat. I'm a clinician and an educator in dementia from the Reitman Center, Mount Sinai Hospital. Hi, I'm Walid. I'm a software developer at RBC. Hi, I'm Marco. I'm a health consultant as well as a caretaker for my grandmother. Hi, my name is Dunstan, and I'm a dementia caregiver researcher at Mount Sinai. Hi, my name is Lawrence. I'm a software developer at Canadian Tire Corporation, and I'm also a caretaker to my mother. Dementia Talk app is an app that is meant to support caregivers in managing challenging dementia-related behaviors at home. Caregivers um, are, have a complex task, and they need practical, easy-to-implement solutions in order to cope. Meet Grace. Grace is, um, Grace is a 75-year-old woman. She's a caregiver to her husband, Henry, who has dementia. And she's constantly struggling with uh, managing her own health issues, um, keeping up with house chores, as well as um, managing Henry's care and uh, dealing with dementia-related behaviors and responding to them. So let's go directly to the app and see what that app can do for, uh, for Grace. Grace uh, is looking for information about how she can best respond to um, Henry, um, Henry's behaviors and her main challenge is that he has been, ve uh, he has been very ch uh, agitated and restless throughout the day. So she's going into the app into behavior management and um, chooses agitation. And in this section, she can get information about what might be the triggers for Henry, but also she can browse through uh, some um, clinically proven strategies and she can then choose from those strategies the one that she thinks would work for her and Henry and create a more personalized plan. She can also then go to the uh, behavior tracker, which is another feature that we have. Uh, she can log in to that through Facebook and um, in that, um, she can track uh, Henry's agitation. Now, currently, she's using this paper-based version, which is very inefficient and very hard to read. I'm just going to give you that as an example. Now we have a digital solution. In two quick steps, Grace can uh, now um, track the behavior according to frequency and uh, intensity and generate a graph. And that graph will help her... Um, see what might be the triggers of the behaviors throughout the, uh, throughout the daily routine and also um, uh, follow up her progress on managing that behavior um, as the time goes by. Now she can uh, send, share this graph with family members and a family physician with a click of a button uh, through a cloud system. Team, thank you very much. Could you repeat the question so the audience can oh, hear, please? Sure. I was just curious where, where the data was coming from for all, from all that diagnostic care. Are you speaking about the different behaviors? Well, for the graph? Well, yeah, well, more, more so that when you go in there, when you ask, um, you know, here's a behavior and there, and there was some comments on what you should do, oh, where are you I getting see. that from? Okay, so this is uh, basically based on an already paper-based tool that, is, that exists that we've um, that was developed through um, a program that I work at previously that we already know is actually working for caregivers and as well as clinicians. Um, and it's driven from uh, caregiver input, expert review, as well as literature-based. Just a quick question. You guys are obviously going to be tracking a ton of data on all those incidents. Would you guys have a plan for what you'd like to do with that data after? Yes, we have a plan. We're actually storing all the data on the cloud. And our larger plan is to uh, do analyzation of that data. So it's actually very beautiful because we can get different global data sets or local data sets. And we can actually, with the My Plan feature, we can see what tips actually have effects and how it affected uh, the patient's behavior. And uh, the same data set is actually going to be integrated with using the EMR systems. 
and it's going to feed directly back to researchers and doctors, and they can actually create better plans for their patients. So, do you see this uh, paper-based tool and the app used in conjunction or in partnership with a with a clinician who's working with the caregiver? Or you Definitely. seeing it as a sorry, sorry, as a separate thing that the caregiver would be doing this on their own? Right. So it's both actually. And, and, it's, and it definitely that's kind of part of our vision that that will enable a better dialogue between physician, clinicians, and the caregiver because they can translate what's happening at home to a very uh, useful app that they can, and they can take that information everywhere. But we're also looking at syncing that information with the electronic me medical record so the doctor can actually see that right away when they come for, uh, for a visit. And... Um, we're actually planning to use an already existing platform um, uh, that, um, is currently, that currently exists with Mars Innovation that um, links to 85% of EMRs across Europe, the States, and Canada. And why doesn't this exist yet? Why, is, why are they still using a piece of paper? Sorry? Why are they still using a piece of paper? That's a good question. Um, but um, why, uh, I think every new solution... Um, starts with seeing a need, and I think one of the need is that that information is scattered among different clinicians with different backgrounds. Um, so no one ever anywhere decided to do this? Well, there are variations of um, um, uh, apps that provide some suggestions around behaviors, but a lot of them are fed by users as an open source, um, and none of them capture both the tracking and the, the strategies or kind of identifying what are the triggers together. And our um, vision is that those two will feed each other and will support on both ends, both the, um, the assessment of the behavior and um, also the, um, the, the follow-up of the management. Thank you very much, judges.